Well, welcome to the Credit One One on One with Keegan Colasar. And Keegan, this is tied for what is the longest road trip of the season. So, how's the road life treating you to this point? Love it. I could, uh, I think I had another two weeks in me, honestly, yeah. at this point. I love being on the road with these guys. What's your favorite part? Uh, going for dinners, having fun with each other, having a lot of glass and jokes. And, uh, you know, it's like sometimes the first dinner, you have a joke there, you can still hear it getting told in the last day. So, uh, it's fun. It's a lot of repetitiveness, but, uh, you know, it's funny with us. Speaking of dinners, uh, we're in Buffalo, so to stay on brand here, how do you feel about Buffalo Wings? Uh, you know, I plan on going to get some today, but with the practice time, it was a little different. So I don't know if I'll be able to partake in those. Maybe we can get them post-game tomorrow. That'd be a treat. What flavor do you go with? Mm, I'm, I'm basic. Like, salt and pepper is good for me, but I did have, like, a Korean-style one in Toronto, and they were really good. Yeah. Drums or flats? Drums. Who on the team would win a wing eating competition? Uh, Michael Amadio. Really? That's a dark horse. Why? Uh, he's allergic to all other food, so it's like the only thing he can really enjoy that's like bad for you. That's a really good point. Really good point. Uh, more road talk. You're a guy who's really into Netflix, TV shows, streaming. What, what have you been watching this trip? Ooh. Uh, I'm close to finishing The Sopranos. Uh, I've watched it for the first time around. It's, I love it. I think it's really entertaining. I'm a big South Park guy, Rick and Morty, it's a good one too. Uh, Family Guy is a staple that you can always put on in the background. Uh, to the Americans, Trailer Park Boys, it's a funny Canadian show and it's I, I can watch it whenever and still laugh my ass off. So comedy is up your alley, is that what you usually yeah. stick with? Usually comedy, like dumb humor. Okay, fair, fair. Uh, talking about on the ice a little bit, how do you assess the, the trip to this point? Well, we're uh, we got three out of six points right now. If my math is right, I think it is. Um, you know what? We, we I think we had a pivotal game there in Toronto because you don't come away with that win. And, and what happened last night? Now we're one out of six points, and then we're really chasing it. You know, the rest of the road trip. For right now we're 500. We're even. I think we just you know take the road trip for what it is right now. And now we look at the next game ahead and we're like, okay, let's win that, and then we worry about the next game after that. Let's worry about Buffalo first, not look at the whole trip. I'm curious your role, the way that injuries have piled up. You were considered a fourth line guy. I know you guys don't number the lines, but now there's a different fourth line. You and Nick Wall and Paul Cotter have made up the third line. I'm curious, does your role change at all playing up in the lineup? No, still fourth line at heart, I guess. Um, just play my game, play a fast game, get in the four check, try and get pucks back. If I can't get pucks back first, be physical on the guy that's going back for it. Get to the net and try and bang home something greasy. And also, you know, try and be sens defensively sound and keep the puck from going in the net. You had four shots last night. What had you getting to the net specifically early in the game? I actually don't even know how I had four shots, I'll be honest. I, I remember two of them, the other two. I'm like, I don't know where those came from, but I'll take them. I guess it goes towards the course here, right? What's the uh, main point of emphasis as you look ahead to Buffalo? Let's just take the positives we can from last game. Obviously, our start wasn't good enough, so we've corrected it. Um, there are some things that we need to fix. And uh, for us now, it's you know extending what was good in that game for a longer period, and we should be able to come away with the win. What gives you confidence in this group's ability to bounce back? Well, we saw it last night, right? I mean, we could have been dead in the water there after the first period, and we looked it upon ourselves. We got ourselves going again, and we made it a close game. We made it, you know, tied it. Unfortunately, they gave up that goal at the end, but, you know, we found what works for us, and, you know, we know it's in here, so it's not like, you know, it's a one-off. We know what we can do in here. Well, this was the Credit One one-on-one -on -one with Keegan Kolasar. Thanks for doing this, and I hope you get those buffalo wings in at some point. Thank you. You too.